Hi everyone, my name is Brianne Nicole. I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was 18 months old. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. If you've been here before, welcome back. I had some really rough days these last couple of days. Um, between yesterday and today has been really rough. Um, so for instance, today, before I even started filming this video, look what happened. I am actually getting ready right now to film this video and this is what I mean by a rough couple of days. So thankfully my blood sugar is back to normal. It's all fine. I'm ready to record. Um, so let's start with yesterday. So yesterday in the middle of my sleep around 3.30 a.m. I start hearing beeping noises. My pump is vibrating. What the heck is going on? I have work in the morning and there's a conclusion. Occlusion? Occlusion? It was an occlusion within my pump. So what that means is that I wasn't getting insulin throughout the night, so therefore my blood sugars kept on rising and rising. So when I woke up, that's when I decided, let me change my tubing, let me put in a new site, see what's going on. So when you do that, now mind you, this is 3.30 in the morning, you give yourself insulin, you correct your blood sugars. But then you do want to wait. The reason being is because you want to make sure there's nothing else you know, wrong with this brand new site, this brand new tubing before you go back to sleep since my blood sugars were already so high. At that time, it was around 330. I waited and was able to go back to sleep. Speaking of rough days, my Dexcom site is due and it's been literally itching my arm the whole day. So let me just change that really quick. So this morning I got woken up at 5 a.m. and it was more so my body waking me up where sometimes when I wake up in the middle of the night, my body just kind of awakens me to let me know, hey, like there's something wrong with my blood sugars. I mean, I'm so thankful that still happens to this day. So sometimes if I wake up in the middle of the night, the first thing I do is check my blood sugar. And at that moment this morning, I was close to 400 and with the arrow coming up. So I'm like, oh boy, something's wrong. And then I go to give myself um, a bolus on my insulin pump comes to find out I came and find my insulin pump and it was on the floor not attached to me so I think the reason being was because my pump was charging so I actually had my pump charging as I was sleeping and it was at 10% and I did not want my pump to die in the middle of the night I'm embarrassed to say that has happened before so I did want to try to avoid that but instead since it was all connected from the outlet to my body everything was all connected where it must have just ripped out in the middle of the night so I put in a new site and then when you put in a new site again like I mentioned before you just want to wait you want to make sure that your blood sugars are going in the right direction um, so you can see up on this picture where my blood sugar started off so high and then literally going down just like this and then when I woke up this morning I was 70 with the arrow going down and then when my blood sugars are 70 for me it feels like a low also when my blood sugars drop or rise so significantly quick I feel again very sluggish tired fatigue I also feel very like unproductive like not motivated to do anything and really not my energetic self so this was a this morning and then I went to work and then when you don't have a good sleep because of your blood sugars just go, either going high or going low and interrupting your sleep it really starts your day off rough this happened to me two days in a row so throughout the day today my blood sugars for the most part were very steady and I really wanted to keep it that way since the last two days were rough so today after work, I did walk my dog. I'm just kind of watch what I ate more so than other days. Again, I just didn't want my blood sugars to go so high. As a type one diabetic, I feel so much pressure for doing everything right. And then I also get so frustrated when things go wrong. So let's talk about wanting everything to go right. I just want this, you know, perfect day with my blood sugars, 120, staying the same. So there's so much pressure just having it all together. Have it all together where my cannula never goes low and I'm not getting notifications that I have five units left or even lower or that my pump battery isn't below 10%. And I think there's just so much pressure to do it right to a point that I get so frustrated when things go wrong. And I think as a 
type 1 diabetic, we just have to accept, literally no pun intended, the highs and lows of living with type 1 diabetes. And also to moving forward, like, okay, how can I prevent this in the future? So for example, instead of me charging my pump in the middle of the night, maybe next time, you know, just make sure it doesn't go below 50%. Like gas in our cars, you know, we want to make sure we have half a tank of gas. Maybe same thing with our insulin pump where we have, you know, 50% of battery life. And same thing with the occlusion that happened the night before. Maybe just taking a look at my tubing. Does it look weird? Does it look odd? You know, when was the last time I changed my site? Again, we cannot prevent everything, but we always could take preventative measures for the future. So enough about me. I want to hear from you. I want to hear maybe some of your rough days living with type 1 diabetes. Please comment it below. Nobody's perfect. It does happen to the best of us. Whether you're newly diagnosed a year ago, whether you're newly diagnosed yesterday, or if you're somebody like me who was diagnosed at 18 months old and had it for 24 years, where this is literally the only lifestyle I know you would think I'd be a pro, where we do all make mistakes. It does happen, and you know, some days are rougher than others, and sometimes it literally is out of our control. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to hear more of my content, um, please consider subscribing below, as I really do appreciate the support, I appreciate the suggestions, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.